Hi, I'm Jack Massey Welsh, and today I'm going to go through every single difference between the 2019 Tesla Model 3 and the 2021 Tesla Model 3. So if we take a look at my old car, you can see the silver rims surrounding the outside of the vehicle. But if we take a look at the new car, ignore the fact that this car's white instead of the midnight silver, but everything that was once chrome along here is now this beautiful black, and it looks so, so much better. So all new 2021 Teslas are going to come with this black on the exterior, and I absolutely love it. I don't think that this white car would look anywhere near as good if it wasn't for the chrome delete that they'd done on the car. And the new black theme does continue when we open up the vehicle because you can see that this used to be silver, whereas it is now a very, very pretty black. One of my absolute favorite things about this new 2021 version is the fact that the boot can do this. Ooh. Oh. In the old car, I had to open my boot manually like some kind of peasant. And if I click the trunk button on my phone, all it would do was this. Whereas now if I click the trunk button on my phone, this happens. Oh. <laughs> you want to see it again? You want to see it again? Oh. One more time, one more time. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, there's suddenly a bottle in my hand. That is because previously in the old car, there was an issue with water falling from the boot and landing inside the boot space on all of your stuff. Whereas in this new version, they've messed with all of these door seals even more. This is the second time they've altered this. And hopefully this time, a lot less water should fall in. So let's do a little test. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a load of water on top of the boot, like here, maybe over here as well. And let's just see if any water gets in. A little bit extra. All right, so it's all falling. Oh, it's not going in. Do you know, that's, that's pretty magical. It all stops in there. Boot is completely dry, other than when I poured water in it earlier by mistake. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> so let me just pour water in here one more time just to see what happens. Let's really overload it. That's quite impressive, actually. Yeah, Not I didn't think it'd drop. be as good as that. Yeah, so when we've done it before, a lot of water fell in. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. <laughs> Inside the car, there's been loads of improvements, some big, some small, but I think probably the biggest one is the fact that they've completely redesigned the center console. It is totally different from what it looked like before. So in our old car, we actually purchased a carbon fiber wrap because the original Tesla Piano Black just fingerprints all over it all of the time. And this was a common thing that so many Tesla drivers did. And I think that's the reason that they've completely changed this up. And you know, what? I think this looks quite nice. So what you can do is you can push that and it'll stay. And then you do that and it goes back in. Very satisfying, look at that. Incredible. It does feel like there's maybe slightly less space than there was before, because we used to be able to lift this up, whereas this is completely stable. But if I take Becky's phone and I place it over here, look at this, wait for it. Wireless charging. <laughs> so the old car did not have wireless charger built in. There was extras you could buy, but now it's just available as standard. And then continuing on the center console, originally, if you wanted to have a USB stick or a memory stick plugged in, it would be plugged in under here. It would be like down there. And that's how you saved footage for Centricam. Now the issue was, if someone was to smash your windows open and break into your car, they would be able to just reach in, grab the memory stick and go, and then there would be no footage of them breaking into your car because they would have it. So because of this, Tesla now keep their Centricam memory stick USB ports inside the glove box. So if I go here and we click open glove box, I've got a pin, which you will look away. Don't you be looking at that. And now it opens up and the USB is actually tucked nice and neat and safe way back over there. And what's also nice is Tesla actually supply the Centricam USB sticks now, and it's got a custom little Tesla logo and everything. Whereas previously you'd have to buy your own memory stick and you'd have to format and stuff, whereas now that is all set up for you. All right, very exciting. It's time for four tiny improvements in the Tesla interior. <laughs> This one I hadn't noticed until I Googled everything earlier. The little scroll wheels on the um, steering wheel, they've got a little bit more grip. So this little gray bit that you can see, it wasn't there before. So I don't remember there being an issue with me being able to grip hold of these before, but now I can grip them even easier. Hey, do you see this thing? Well, guess what? It's now magnetic. So it just clips into place. That's really easy. Before there was like a hook that you'd have to slot in and it was something that broke quite a lot. Whereas now, magnet. Magnet! Very cool. <laughs> and then moving over to the left from that, we've complained about this one before, our hazard light is now bigger. It's a big button which is easier to press. Whereas previously there was a hazard light button and there was an SOS button. So if you wanted to click your hazard lights in an emergency, it's a little bit harder to do and you'd quite often click the SOS one instead. And then the last tiny Tesla interior improvement <laughs> is the fact that they've actually correctly labelled 
the little opening the door buttons. Every single time we had someone new in our old Tesla, none of them knew how to leave. They all were just trapped inside because people thought that this button would maybe operate the windows or something. But this is actually how you open the door and now it is being correctly labelled. And it also just feels like they've changed the material slightly here. Everything's just a little bit nicer, which is really sweet to see. So this next thing I'm going to quickly mention, it's more of a software update, so old 2019 Teslas would have this too, but they've recently redesigned this interface. So if I was to open my door... Oh! Go on, Becky, open your door. Oh! <laughs> and let's open the boot. Oh! <laughs> so I'm sure we'll do a full video about this new user interface in the future, so just make sure you're subscribed. So coming back outside to the exterior, following on from the Model Y, Model 3s now have a heat pump, which basically just makes the car more efficient. But because of this, apparently, the front trunk is ever so slightly smaller. Now, if I open it up, I can't really tell. It looks about right to me. It was never particularly big, but apparently because of the heat pump, which is in here, it's now ever so slightly smaller. And then following on from that, apparently, this is slightly easier to close now. So previously it took two hands and it popped back open. But I mean, to be fair, I've not closed it properly. I'm not sure I agree with this one. <laughs> hey. I did it. Yeah, it doesn't feel any easier to me. <laughs> And then the final difference that we've got between the 2019 model and the 2021 model is the wheels have been slightly improved. Now, for us, it is difficult because I actually bought the sports wheels this time, whereas previously we had the nice aero wheels, which were just included in the price. But both the aero wheels and the sports wheels have been changed ever so slightly. If you compare the two, you can see some subtle differences. I think it's to make them ever so slightly more aerodynamic, but I think, if anything, it's just made them look a little bit cheaper. But overall, I still really like these sports wheels and I'm glad that I purchased them. Also, I forgot to mention this one when filming, but the glass in the driver and passenger front windows is now double paned, so it's twice as thick as it was before. The reason for this was to reduce noise from the road and the wind outside, and it's meant to just make the cabin a little bit quieter. I haven't noticed a massive difference. Becky does think it sounds quieter, though. And that's it. That's everything. There's also some tiny things, like the USB A ports have been changed to USB C ports. But other than that, I think we've pretty much covered it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do click that like button. I am so pleased with this new Tesla. 2021 model. It is so cool. It is the long range model instead of the standard range model, but we're not really in the position at the moment to test if that makes much of a difference, but I'm sure we will be at some point, so do subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this video. In the next video, we will probably go over kind of how we're finding the new car compared to the old one, because in this video, we've just shown off the improvements as opposed to giving our opinions on them. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. We do videos once a week and I'll see you later. <laughs>